Yo, hello everybody, welcome back, and good to see you all here, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, good to see everybody here for some more Infection Free Zone. We've started a series on the channel for the early access release version that the devs have sent over to me, and uh, you can find more information on their website, so just Google Infection Free Zones, go to Google and type that in, they have uh, a website with more info on how to get early access to the game which I think might involve something to do with a Kickstarter or something about buying a bundle. This is the same developers who made the game uh, like 112 and I think 911. And actually, we should play those games. Um, but it's a game where, of course, you have to manage resources and whatnot. And they moved on to make a zombie survival game. And there's like a bundle where you can buy that game and also support this one at the same time and do much more. But this is literally the biggest zombie game ever because you can literally build a huge survival base anywhere in the world like the whole globe is at your disposal which is pretty outstanding so um yeah it's pretty cool actually um let's go ahead and jump into uh taking a look at the world map here yeah so there's a couple of recommended locations from the devs in the usa france uk germany a couple in china and italy uh but we can basically build anywhere in the world we want you pick coordinates you pick a city you pick uh, uh anywhere like the uh maybe the north pole for santa <laughs> We could pick somewhere up very far north and try to, you know, defend Santa's um, village or whatnot. But, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, it's a very cool game. Uh, we've defended Disneyland before. We've defended the original Waffle House. We've gone to Area 51 and Alcatraz. We've gone to uh, Quebec to defend uh, the castle up there. Uh, Warwick. I mean, many, many historical locations. It's been a lot of fun. So I'm going to need some suggestions from you all today on where to build but uh, again just check steam to add this one to your wish list if you're curious check their steam uh store page for more information uh under like the discussion and whatnot uh, there's a lot of news coming out for this one all the time and i know a lot of you are going to ask how do i get the game how do i play this game where is this game etc etc so i would just say jump on steam look for infection free zone and then add that to your wish list and check their website as well. Because there's a lot of stuff that's going on all the time. And I'm not always sure because they... Sometimes I hear news, but it's late after it like actually comes out. So anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. We're going to be defending a Christmas village here today. We'll find out where we build for the first time. We can go... Yeah, we can go anywhere in the world. Yeah, we can go to Dublin. We can go to Missouri. Uh, we can go to anywhere. Anywhere we want. So we'll have to pick where we go today. It'll have to be somewhere new, though. Somewhere where we haven't built before. And uh, I'm, those new locations or recommended locations are tempting. However, we built in Crofton before, and we've also built in, uh, we're also doing a series in Italy as well at a, a beautiful fort there. That's really cool. Now, one of the problems with this game when we played it before is that we were not able to save. And so every time that we played, we essentially had to start over in every video or every stream because once we closed the game, that was it. Well, now we can actually finally load games so you can see that I've been playing the Italy map quite a bit, and you'll be seeing more of that on the channel. So just stay tuned for that. But we're going to start a new game in a whole different spot today. I, I want to start somewhere completely different. So, um... Well, where did we end up here? I have no idea where that was. So anyway, yeah, we're going to go anywhere in the world we can. And also this game lets you do, like, I don't know, like, 10 square, 20, 30, 40 square kilometers of, like, a city. And, like, fortify it and clear it out of zombies and defend it. It'd be kind of interesting. So, uh, Jerusalem, Colo uh, Kosovo, Vale, Colorado, the Alamo, Pyramids. We can actually take a look. Actually, let's, let's take a look if they have uh, the pyramids here. Um, oh. Let's see if we can go to... Ooh, there's a lot... Oh, there's a lot of cities along the Nile. Actually, I wonder if we type in... Oh. Uh, boy, I don't, I don't know this part of town. Um... I'd, I'd have no idea. Well, that looks like uh, farms. A lot of uh, farmland there. Hmm. I think I'd have to get, like, precise coordinates and or I don't even know if those would show up. But, of course, we can defend the Eiffel Tower and whatnot. Some of the... This game's still under development. So, like, for example, if we go to, like, the uh, Eiffel Tower, it could look like a giant office building and not actually the, you know, metal girder framing structure that it actually is so uh it would be cool to pick something with a landmark though we could go to like globin in stockholm sweden that'd be kind of cool let's let's take a look at stockholm real quick globin otherwise known as the globe let's see if that loads in Uppsala, and we want to go a little more east of that a little more north than that 
a little... Oh, I want to zoom out more. It'd be easier to navigate. It's around here somewhere. Uppsala, so it's got to be south-ish. It'd be easier to navigate. I need other landmarks. Actually, where's that island? Holy hell, look at the archipelago here. They've got so much detail in this game. We could take over one of these small islands if we want to, too. Damn, I didn't realize they'd have, like, every little every little piece of Earth. That's crazy. Wow. Nin Shopping. Dasta. There we are. Stockholm. Perfect. Now. Let's see where the Globin is. Somewhere around here. I've actually stayed on this island before, I think. Yeah, yeah, because there's the rail line. Pretty sure. Was oh, that Gamlastan? Oh, wait a minute. We could defend. Uh, uh, there's usually like special Christmas celebrations that are. Is, I think that's Gamlastan, right? Old city. Train passes through there. Hmm. Pretty. The Forbidden City. I know there's so many good locations. We've also defended in um, Gothenburg before uh, amusement parks too. Like I mentioned, Disney. We went to Disney World in Florida before, and we also went to Lisa Berry, which is in Gothenburg, and uh, it's pretty cool to defend that. But I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a, a little little island defense would be cool too, and that's actually quite a large island to defend. And then we could cut off the um, the rail lines and other streets and bridges that connect to it as well. <laughs> Legoland? You want to go to Denmark? We could. Yeah, islands are good, but islands are huge. The, remember, this this is like Stockholm, Sweden, and we can only really defend like, um, the, the playable area, at least at the start, is like about the size of a small island. So like, you know, Hawaii might be way smaller than, you know, Texas, for example, but yeah, things like Australia, Guam, I would be interested to even see if, like, Wake Island would be defendable. But we do want an urban area to make it a lot more interesting. And I'm kind of tempted with this one. But we can give it a try, and if we don't like it, we can go somewhere else. Tower of London, we've done that before. We've done Tower of London. We've done um, Warwick. We've done Paris. I think some city in Germany as well, though, although I can't remember which one. Uwu. What's up, Luthris? Good to see you. Well, let's give this a try. In Stockholm, I think this is Gamlestan, although I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. All right, we're going to start with a lot of people. We're going to have a lot of resources, and we're going to leave the hordes alone and see if we can do that. All right, let's get started. If we don't like it, we can always change it. That's a sweet scene. Luther, we got to play like we got to play like Parkitect Open TTD if Elmox is around, Railroader if Elmox is around. Um. He's also sick today, so we'll we'll see. I don't know. I want to get a lot of cool games with you guys. New York, yeah, New York's cool. We've done that before too, and is near near death experience because of all the buildings. The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal. Any info that a cure had been found, or the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. 
And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Indeed we shall. Yeah, same video every time, but it's just good to show everybody what it's all about. Oh, uh, oh, having issues with this map. No. All right, so when we started in some of the previous recommended maps, the developers picked where we started, but here we get to pick our own starting area. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so these are railroad bridges, and that's a rail, uh, like a highway bridge, too. So these are places where the infected can cross. And I think these buildings out in the water might be boats that were there at the time the map was generated or pictures were taken and it thinks that those are buildings oh uh, yeah you can see a little lock system there too or a drawbridge or whatnot wow that's a lot of densely packed buildings brah wow and a small little bridge to go to that building too jeez look at how huge some of those buildings are okay um well i think we should start small and maybe fortify this area and then we'll kind of head eastwards into the city and then more sections of the city in north and south. Uh, there is some wood here, yeah. And we can also demolish buildings too. So if there's not like an immediate um, resources, we can always get that from demolishing buildings. So that'll be interesting. Now another thing is too, we can, um, you know, if, if we really like this series and really like this map, smash like and we could come back and do more because we're going to probably stream this for about three hours, but it's still not enough time to play the full game. So we'll keep on trucking. Yeah, this is Gamlestan in Stockholm. Old city, basically. I think, from from my memory. I, I, I think I've been here. I've been I've been to Gamlestan, but I don't know if this is the pre precise location. But it's been very cool. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's try to build over here. We want some sort of a defendable structure. 309, 309. No, no matter what building we pick, it's 309, huh? Hmm. Actually, yeah, 309. Oh, that's actually 288. 309, 309. Okay, so this is going to be a maximum no matter what. Let's maybe pick a smaller area. I don't know. This area is pretty good, though, for farms and such. But so with that, we do need to eventually farm. Oh, wow, there's even a little boat there. Can we actually get to that? That's like a ship. If our people can get out of there, we could actually fortify a ship, which would be rather interesting. Let's fortify that. Oh, it's like a restaurant. Yeah, you can you can literally see it in the shape of a boat. Well, let's pretend it's a boat. We're going to make our base on a boat. So let's confirm that. And our people can get out. Sweet. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's cool as hell. All right, we got a boat for a base. All right, roger that. Let's do it. Okay. Find something as fast as possible. Okay, let's create some new squads, send Ready them out right away. Oh. Take another squad. Okay, we'll do three squads. Alright, cool. We got a boat base. And I think we can make this more and more of an HQ. There is a way where you can uh, retrofit buildings to only be like, you don't have to retrofit the whole building. You can do like half of it. And like, you know, take a few rooms or a floor and like barricade it and turn it into like a lab or a workshop or something. Alright, let's try to find some food. Turn on that mode. So we gotta look for police departments for guns, yep, or military bases or whatever military posts. There's a few. Because there's royal guards and such here. Yeah, uniformed services facility. So there's like a barracks here because there's like a palace nearby and they have guards. So there's a possibility for us to find assault rifles, uh, vehicles, fuel. Uh, more, f more likely to find food in certain places. A lot of buildings might have food, you know, homes and such, but We'll see. And let's start with cutting down trees. We'll start closer to the boat. Okay, let's tell a few people to go cut down. Clear and clear, good. Oh, we got some food and tools. Excellent.
You got lucky spawns going to the gun store after the first objective. Yeah, that's cool. We got some gun stores nearby. Uh, pistols will be all right for a little while. We're gonna. I think we're gonna try to work every building here, and then we'll cross. So there's like a rail line here, and a highway here too. Actually, that looks to be. Maybe that's an underground metro. Could be a metro line there. I thought that was a bridge, but I've been on that metro train too. Stockholm's pretty cool. I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters, so we won't spend a single more night underground. Okay, we can do that. Yes, that sounds yes. like a good idea. Yes, it does. All right, let's build a barracks. Oh, damn, we found a car? Found a car Where the hell's that? Oh, right up there. Wow. All right, we found a car right off the bat. Okay, try it. Looks like a regular old sedan. All right, we'll get there in a minute. Wow, all right. Very good start. Very good start. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a Viking ship, yeah. Actually, is uh, that's not where the... No, that, that, that couldn't be where the Vasa is, is it? That's in Stockholm, but not there, I don't think. But there could certainly be many historical ships. I can hear him chopping down wood. Chop, chop. Um, so we could adapt a building. What do we get if we adapt this building? 111.55. What do we got for wood? 55 wood. 75 there. Only two people can live in that building? Oh, please, you get 10 people in there. It would be crowded, but it'll work. Okay, I think we'll do quarters and then the warehouses. And I think we could convert more of this building to that, too. Left mouse button to partially adapt. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Yeah, true. Carry on. We need those resources. We're running out of resources. Sir, it is too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work yeah. out the hall. Everyone will return home. Okay. We'll be fine. Chief, this building's way too big for us to adapt as a whole. It'll cost too many resources, but we can still adapt it partially and convert only as much space as we need. All right, roger that. But we're going to do the whole thing because that's probably the only building we'll need for a while if we can put that many people there. This game also has a seasonal cycle, too, so we'll have to make sure we store enough food for the winter. Like a squirrel. Squirrel on crack. SOC tactics. Sir, just saw a group of infected. Uh oh. They might not be aware of our presence. The infected are close. Get ready Absolutely. To fight. Okay, keep searching those big old buildings. Usually the big old buildings are a bust, but we'll see. Okay, we're going to survive the night, and I think we'll be all right. So we got to adjust to 50 preparation. Whoa, okay. Oh, boy. Hold on. Actually, let's... Do that. We're on the move. Report eliminated. There we go. Operator, we found something suspicious. There's a large piece of dried meat here with the rope around it. It's attached to counterweight. This seems to be a trap to catch something. Maybe humans, maybe some animals. Uh, must have set it up not long ago. I'll leave that alone. Receiving. 
Oh, there's uh, this is actually a, bo a boat restaurant. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's Let's RTB with a few of these supplies. Roger. Receiving. Now, the cool thing about this scout, it's one of the, my favorite things in this game is uh, I, I like games that when you assign people to do a job and they do it longer, they become more proficient at it. So the longer that you have people scouting, they become better at shooting by using their guns. They become better at... Uh... Oh, boy. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Uh, we'll figure that out, dude. Okay. I'll point you where to go. Defend the boat. Can't you guys shoot out the... the door won't hold much shoot him, damn it. Wow, we're gonna have to make a building outside to do that. Anyway, I like how we can have more uh, proficient people by just having them do a job for a certain amount of time. Why can't you guys shoot them? Can you shoot? Okay, they're killing them with machetes. Why? That's so weird. Yeah, they were climbing the walls, and they wouldn't shoot out of the damn boat. All right, we'll have to make these buildings defendable then. Anyway. Luckily, nobody was really wounded bad. That was crazy. Anyway, I think the uh, recommended maps in this game pre perform much better. There's a lot of jankiness in this game, uh, which is fair, because it's all kind of procedurally generated a little bit. Like, it's kind of trying to randomly produce stuff, but yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, good. Let's go get that ammo. Check that building. What is this building here? Uh, Camaraton? Operator. A lot of hordes for the first few nights, that's for sure. Can't go to that building. Ooh, they're swimming across the dam. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, that's a pretty large b body of water to swim across. They're going for the HQ. I don't think we can actually shoot out of that building. Let's see if we can just shoot at them from the street. Wow, they're they're hungry. Swimming all that way to come get these cheeks? Man, that's a long way to go. That's a long way to swim. Yeah, the Black Pearl must be nearby. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we got 9.8 crates of ammo, 24 food. All right, good. Now, an in another interesting thing about this game that I love is that the time of day in which people will work changes based on, like, the type of weather. So I think the game takes into account north and northern and southern hemispheres, and then, like, the time of when winter is and the sunlight in which you get per day is interesting. It'd be interesting also if you were to go to, like, uh, Alaska, if you could trick the game into where, like... There's like 24 hour days and stuff way up north. That'd be a really interesting thing. People would work all the time. Sure will. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Agree. Let's build, we'll build a watchtower later. Let's investigate. We'll go get that car soon, too. Yeah, we'll be playing till winter. Winter comes pretty quick in the game. It's already May. Search done. But I don't think... I don't know. I feel like in the game, since it's not done, winter will happen kind of randomly at random times of the year.
We'll see. There's a smaller building there. That's the one that, uh... That's the one that we can peek on. Endless hordes? Yeah, pretty much. They kind of... Sometimes there'll be a lot of hordes, then it'll scale back a bit. But then you got to worry about more dangerous things like humans with tanks. Armored vehicles and such. You ever see the movie Children of Men? Kind of, kind of what happens. Area orders. We're on the move. Let's do it. Ooh, there's a lot, oh, a lot of food in there. Plus more, four more food. Good. Go, go, go. Another one incoming. I don't see the horde. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a waiting to come out. You can just hear him. <laughs> Uh, what do we got going on with jobs? Oh yeah, get everybody on scavenging. Well, actually, maybe we could do more on building. 75, we have 79. Okay, let's scale back to 10. There we go. Perfect. All right, nice. Man, imagine starting this game with like five survivors. Oh, it'd be unplayable. It would take so long. You'd have to just like hide for a long time. Receiving. Roger. Waiting orders. All right, let's head back to HQ. On my way. And then... Since this group's close, we'll go get some more workers. On my way. Oh, I didn't 100% it. Get that building 100%ed. Yay! Yeah, oh, there's tons of stuff. Left. Wait, wait, go visit those people. Roger. Port spotted. That's alright. What time is it? 2.40 p.m.? Okay. Reporting. Go grab that. We'll grab that. Ammo and food. That's the way to survive. Ammo and food. Ammo and food. Hmm. Also books there, too. That's going to be good. Ooh, look at all the stores and stuff. Man. Oh, that's the uh, Stockholm City Hall, I think, right here. I think. I think we will accept them. Bring them in. All right, cool. And let's Ready bring all action. those supplies back. Another cool thing is, even if a group is fully loaded with stuff, they can keep scavenging. So you can have a group go out and just kind of peek what's there. They can find tons of stuff, and then um, when you find tons of stuff, you can, you know, have another group come back See later and get it. Like how we can get that car, but I mean we're we're so close to stuff. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna bother with the car for a little bit, although it's a good find. It's good. Yeah, we're in the Gamla Stan section of the old city section of Stockholm, so it's actually kind of interesting that we can fortify this whole island. It's been the most fun I think to be able to do islands because it gives you a first goal of, hey, I'm gonna clear out this initial area as best I can and then start to expand other locations. So we can do the southern part of the city and the northern part of the city, eventually. Lots of open water. Water those. Your hometown? Stockholm's beautiful. I've been there t once. Very nice. I would return again. Let's see if we can find some guns, baby. 
We're on the move. Yeah, we're almost done with that building. I think we'll convert that to a warehouse. These pro these probably should be warehouses. 420, thanks, bro. We'll see how it goes. Too bad you cannot fish for food. That'd be interesting, actually. That'd be a really cool game mechanic if you could somehow get boats and go out to sea, too. I might build guard towers here just to stop them from coming in from the water. I'll shoot them. Another one incoming. Okay. Get ready to oh God. the zone. Hopefully we can find an assault rifle in that building. Be a huge bonus to us. Kill off the hordes. You're out of one killed. I've killed multiple hordes. What you mean? Operator. No, no stay in that building. We're on the move. Infected incoming. They're in the building. Hostiles inbound. Okay, we're good. Horde eliminated. Let's take the car back. Never mind. Hold. Okay, sneak, sneak to the car, sneak to the car. Let's do it. Good job. Well, we're gonna see. Reporting. I get out of the car. Roger. We're on the move. Receive it. Roger. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Shoot them before they get ashore. There's a lot more boats on the shore, too. Yeah, boats are kind of just floating buildings, anyway. In a way. Nobody else attacks the base, please. Ready for action. We're on the Waiting move. orders. Roger. Waiting orders. Do I hear more hordes? Clean out those buildings. I don't want those hordes near my base. I don't want them hiding in there. We're not alone here. Operator's house is infected. We need backup. There's your backup. You got it. You're good. We're on the boarding. Let's do it. Ready for action. Okay, cool. Let's all work together in the same buildings and get these cleared out. Is that rubble we can... I think we might be able to farm there, but it looks like there's just debris, like the building got exploded. Military must have came in. Surgical strike. Area 
In incoming transmission. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info oh, that yeah? we could use. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encountered, and other groups of survivors too. But they've lost people recently. It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find some jobs and shelter for them. Uh, I'll let them rest for now. Okay, let them rest. The building's almost done, 92%. Should be done today. Receiving. Search done. Ooh, they're Search all bringing back receiving. supplies. Hell yeah. Lots receiving. of food. Good. Sixty-eight. More wood is needed, chat. More wood is needed. More wood is needed. Kind of cool that we set up our base on a ship. We're on the move. Everybody's going back for more. That ship Roger. was only supposed to be a three-hour tour. Hey, we did it. Cool. Build a wooden tower. Cancel full lab adaptation. Yeah, we'll do that later. We build towers. How much is a tower? Ten. That's 72. Problem with the tower, though, is that it takes away from our... Um, our workforce. All right, I'll build two towers here and there. Girl, you're being an alarmist. Calm down. We're gonna see. Uh, let's gather some metal. We'll need to build a tower eventually. Let's start there. Ooh, it's gonna be a lot of work. Look at all those street lights. Woo! Happy holidays to you too, Xenoma. Yeah, happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. I'm wearing my my YouTube YouTube Christmas sweater that they gave me. It's nice and warm. I'm probably gonna wear it past Christmas. It's nice and cozy. All right, so we're building towers to defend the boat. So if they try to perform a naval landing, we could try to D-Day it or Z-Day. Library, disgusting. Let's go there. Well, there was some knowledge over here. Oh, more guns, though. Hold on. Receiving. Right, go to that Going building. There. We should bring the car. That's ah, already too late. Never mind. Going there. We'll bring the car tomorrow. Swedish street names? Yeah. We're in Svaria. Central Baron. You love me? I love me too. Thank you. Switch these two to bow. Building clear. Yeah, I'll provide some defense. 
they try to come ashore. Ooh, more guns. Ready for action. On my way. Reporting. Let's do it. Man, we're getting busy. Getting busy. Man, I should put that on my uh, my to-do list is go to a couple of European cities around Christmas to go to all those Christmas markets and stuff. Got I got to see that. That'll be my goal for next year to go to like Gamlestan at Christmas and a few other places. Let's do it. Receiving. Going there. Operator. Search done. We're on the move. Waiting orders. Rain now. I wonder if rain actually affects any sort of uh, visibility or whatnot, or crops. I, I hope in the future that there is some sort of a realism to that, although the game has... Time in the game goes by much faster. Chief, we just found an assault rifle. This will come in handy there against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Hell yeah, brother! Woo! Use it with caution. Receiving. We're on the move. Going there. Operator. Hostiles inbound. Wait a minute. Who's Receiving. the squad who's got that? Operator. Hostiles inbound. Anybody RTB real quick? Not anymore. Central Portugal for Christmas, highly recommended. I'd like to do that. Just randomly go. I can't wait for like Bradford and Pinto and anybody anymore. I'm gonna have to do things on my terms. Strong and independent. Don't need no tour guide. Landings. At this point, they may as well just have Higgins boats and just have the zombies coming in ashore. Port spotted. Uh oh. Oh, we're. Oh Port boy. This is, oh, they're everywhere. Infected oh my God, they're everywhere. Uh, is that a? Uh oh, out of ammo. I'm going to have to make a warehouse out here so we can resupply. There are some infected around here. Oh boy. Waiting can I give this group can I leave that there? We're on the move. And then give this group the ammo? Operator. Going there. Reporting. Another one incoming. Waiting I can't just leave action. supply in the building and then have Hmm. I hope they do that differently in the future, so squads can give ammo and stuff. Like if two squads are fighting, they should be able to also carry extra... There should be upgrades, more upgrades for squads, like ability to carry more stuff, ability to carry more ammo. Let's run back and get everybody ammo. All right, go back and get ammo. Ready for action. Oh, let's take the car. Operator. Roger. You guys go Waiting there. Going there. It. Waiting orders. Sir, the people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. Operator. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. Operator. 
We need to bolster our defenses Let's do it. and be ready to attack from Reporting. within, too. Okay. Let's do it. We'll be ready. Operator. Let's do it. We're on the move. We're not alone here. Receiving. Good. Ooh. We're on the move. Attack. Lots of fun in that building. Let's clear them out. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Operator, going there. Uh, okay. Operator. Going there. Receive on my way. Breach and clear. Okay, we're good. They'll heal, it'll just take a little time. Ooh, look at all the ammo that was there. Twelve cases of ammo? Ooh. You can't exchange between squads? Good. They should make it easier, though. There should be... A few different ways to do it, I think. Because it would also be nice, rather than exchanging between squads, to also just leave... Like, to make a safe house somewhere. Leave a bunch of supplies there and just know that if uh, you get into a pickle, have your forces fall back there with extra ammo and stuff. If you can do that, good. If not... Bad. Ready for action. Let's go We're get some more guns, brother. No more to find. Waiting orders. On my way. That building should also have more knowledge. Receive it. You guys can come back. Going there. Ready for action. Roger. Ammo for days. Job done. Alright, everybody's RTB. <laughs> it's a Swedish game, yay? Mm, I don't know if the devs are Swedish, but the map is. But that's why this is the biggest game for zombies ever, because literally the whole earth that you can build on. Which I really like that. I like the fact that, you know, you can... Essentially the progression is the same every time, but the map will change a few things. And how you defend and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. That's what makes um, City Builders really fun when it's not a preset map every time, but like it's... Kind of more free. Freedom, brother, yeah, brother. Freedom. Orders. Is that a hospital? No, it's a dormitory? Or like barracks or something. Ready for action. Going there. We're on the move. Ready for action. We're on the move. You want me to set up on Catalina Island? Oh, yeah. We'll have a wine mixer. Wait, Catalina and California are not to The Last of Us? I think you go to San Diego in The Last of Us. In The Last of Us 2, you go to... You're mostly in, like, what, Seattle? And then you go to... San Diego at the very end. Oh, it's a Swedish court. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we got the books we needed. No, they're just delivering those now. We're on the move. I guess they have to go through the water a little bit, which slows them down, but we'll picture it just being a ramp or something. Going there. We need a workspace where we can experience. 
experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. We could store all the books there too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's do this. Receiving. Reporting. Reporting. Going there. Uh, let's see. So we need a science building. Ooh. Maybe. Okay. Bring I guess in. technically we only need one scientist. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. This will make our people much happier too. Okay. Let's build a cookhouse. Uh, we're getting kind of full. So this is housing for 55 out of 55. We've got. Oh, we can also have 27 people live here, so we got room for 27 more. Well, let's convert this to a warehouse. Full building will give us 1,300 capacity for 47 wood. That's pretty sweet. Let's go with that. Reporting. Let's do it. Bring these squads Receiving. back. Going there. Receiving. Operator. Bring it all back. Bring it all back. Let's do it. Beep beep. Can I pronounce some of these things? Yeah. I know a little bit of Swedish and pronunciation. <laughs> this one's going to be tough, though. Let's Sodra. Uh, Ridden. Ridar. Ridar Holmstone Holman. Oh, that's a that that's a long ass one. I can't do that. Mm, burger, Burger Jarl's Torg. Oh, that's a railway. Torg is Torg is something to do with trains. Another one incoming. Roger. Minsvenska Interbro. Which one is Drombi's house? It's the one that's on fire. Jarl's Torg sounds like a person's name. <laughs> You're right. Cool language. I wonder if ABBA survived the pandemic. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, they're giving motivational, like... You know, they're on, like, a radio every night. You know, like, remember Radio Free Europe or whatever? During the German occupations and stuff, and sharing news and stuff that way, ABBA would be doing that, but it would just be, they'd be performing live. And then tell everyone, you know, to keep their chin up. Okay. Here they come. Good job. Operator. Let's have everybody go back for Let's ammo. Operator. Going there. Waiting oh, orders. board. Let's do it. Receiving. Let's do it. Reporting. Let's do it. Sim, Sim, ah. Springer Oak Swimmer. Don't forget the like button, guys. Yeah. yeah. If you guys are liking this, yeah, don't forget to smash like. Let's do it. Operator. We're on the move. Man, we'll go that big, we'll go that big old building. So if we go to that building, this should be this whole island here clear. Now 
No, two more. Two more buildings. We got three more guns, brother. Which means we can turn one of those towers to be a gun tower. But I almost would like one more squad of scouts. Operator, we just saw something grisly, but potentially useful. The infected are eating their own. We saw some of them inside a basement they couldn't get out of. There were corpses of other infected that had obviously been eaten. Dear God. Let's see what happens if they can't eat for a while. Leave them to rot down there. Roger <laughs> Leave them to rot down there meanwhile they're shooting. God, that's horrific. It's like rats. Rats do that. Uh, let's get more building than scavengers. Let's do five on that. Twenty, there we go. And I want to take four for another scout team. Three out of four guns is fine. We'll find some more guns. Roger. These buildings are large, so we're going to have to double down on our uh, scouting teams. Well, we could start farming, too, but... Um, yeah, we're going to need to farm. Although we need a cookhouse built, too. There's some more food. Good. Perfect timing. Ready for action. Yeah, you can find people in the world, or you can do... Um, eventually, we'll build a radio tower, and people will find out where we are based on us calling out via the radio. Like, hey, come to Gamlastan. Like, there's survivors here. But that might also attract the wrong type of people, too. So we'll have to defend ourselves against... People who are, you know, everyone's gonna have to. We're gonna have to have an application process. You know, we're gonna have to have them fill out a, a form. Do you plan to raid the camp? No. Are you a bot? No. Fill out this captcha. What are the images of not food? You know, it's like a hu human being. Oh, that's right. Uh, we are in Stockholm, in Sweden. I want to try. I should. I should build these within the watchful eye of a tower, so that way they don't get destroyed. They want us to build three, but I'm going to build four. Why the hell did it rotate the tower like that? I mean, the uh, the field. What the hell. Okay, um, maybe a little too close to the water. No, I didn't drag when I, I just clicked once. Oh, there we go. Actually, let me let me try to drag in the opposite direction. Let's let's try to drag. Oh, we can drag when we place it. Oh, that's actually kind of helpful. I did know we could place multiples, but I didn't know we could rotate while holding. That's cool. Well, hell, if I knew I could have held the mouse button, I would have done that. There we go. Build three there and then maybe two more there. That'll look cool. Okay. We'll need people to build those. I think builders are assigned to building first before farming? Yeah. They have, builders have to build the field first, then farmers can farm. 
All right, let's go Going out to there. the other thing. Operator. Going there. Yeah, we built a lot of farms in our previous videos. A lot of farms we built, a lot of towers we built, a lot of defenses. Been cool. There's some scaffolding there. That looks cool. They customize all the buildings. It looks so nice. We need to vote for a new location. Well, if we start over, it's the same thing each time. You know, we'll, we'll still have to do all these things like find those survivors with the smoke, build a tower, go out and find a crazy guy. You know how it is. Ready for action. On my way. You know how it'd be. RTB. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Going there. Ready for action. Ooh, Search nice. Done. Lots of stuff to salvage. Go, Waiting go, orders. go. Roger. Maybe we should bring the car over. Operator. Roger. No, it's only three. Three more thingies. Thingy dingies. All right, let's go over here. On my way. We're on the move. Can they still cross water? They can, yep. I hope in the future they make it so that way they can't cross huge on bodies of water, but we'll cross like rivers and stuff like, like that. But then again, maybe that'd make it too easy. Roger. Ready for action. Operator. My way. Now I wonder, how do I give these materials to our squad? Reporting. Select squad building or vehicle for exchange. Oh. Oh, we can make safe houses that way then. Cool. Going Just need there. to click the exchange button. Nice. What's up, Load Toad? You thought zombies melted in water? Uh, you're thinking of Sugar and the Wicked Witch of the West. Good. Oh, wait. The Oh, good. The lab's ready. Cool. Now let's start research on the basic antenna. Beep, boop, beep, beep. The place is adapted. And good. We have a extendo warehouse storage to 1300. Beautiful. Now we got to build a little cookhouse. We can adapt a small part of that building for a cookhouse. Waiting orders. Roger. We're on the move. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Ready for action. Roger. Receiving. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Sir, we've we're encountered a group of people we're willing to move. join us. Have them killed. No, we can actually rob them if we want to. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept. Send them in. There. Oh, good luck. Let's do it. Going there. Waiting orders. Let's do it. 
They don't come here in the morning. Good, so now we found more workers. Now we need resources, and then we can start a Soviet Republic. On my way. You tried robbing, nothing happens. We're yeah. on the, move. the only steal, really, is the exclamation point merch link, or clicking and tapping join and becoming a member today. Imagine, look at that, 20% off of becoming a uh, owner of a beautiful hoodie or t-shirt or more by following the link there, or... Oh, hell, look at those low, low prices of becoming a member today. Or exclamation point gift to turn on membership gifting. And, of course, as always, hitting the like button is free. Oh, wow, what a steal. Yes, today only, though. Operators are standing by. Okay, well, I guess we'll wait out the night. What about our build team? What do we got, 55? Okay. It's 55. Word spotted. Oh, get out of the car. They should be able to shoot from the damn windows. Where's the horde? Yeah, there comes the oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, 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 oh that's a oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh my God! Stay away from my truck, damn it! Yep, lure him over here. That was, uh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. And this happened. Subscribe today. That's a short tan. Oh, speaking of shorts, uploaded a bunch more. I'm sure you had them all. Has an old school feel to it. I like it. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm really appreciative of all these games that feel old yet are new, too. Otherwise, we're just going to get 3 million Forspokens and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3s and Games that look pretty, but really don't have much going on. Art styles are really important. Game play mechanics and much more. Graphic good, game good is not a thing. That is that is a dumb brain take. Another one incoming. Games can look super realistic and be fun to go through, but then, you know, shiny and pretty is one thing. But then you're going to end up looking like the capital... Like Games with good graphics end up looking like the capital of Tajikistan. Spotless, beautiful, nothing going on. Ready for action. Let's do it. Go ahead, Google it. Oh, this this team's action. out of commission for a little Let's while. Do it. Roger. Going there. So everybody should go back Waiting and get orders. ammo. So now, can I exchange? So how does this work? Reporting. Reporting. Roger. I want to put all the things in the warehouse now. Just leave the HQ On empty. My way. Operator. On my way. Operator. On my way. Oh man, we might need the car. Oh, do you have to do this manually? No way. What, what? Sir, the winter is coming. The days will be shorter. 
The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might be the hardest days of the year. Ready for action. Ready okay. For action. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Operate on my way. Hey, where'd all my stats go on my squads? Can't respond. Hold on. Uh, and the transmission to save the game. Well, I can't respond to the transmission. Is there an autosave? Street names are real, yeah, they are. We are out of resources. Operator. Okay, let's try that again. Roger, ready for action. All right, going for a full clear. Reporting. Danger close. Operator. Get him, get him, get him. Operator. Reporting. Cool. Receiving. All right, let's head on back down. Roger. Operator. We're on the move. Ready for action. We're on the move. Roger. Oh, where'd those survivors go that we found? What, did they already join us? Maybe this is a few days back. Oh, I don't know. We're researching the antenna. I don't know. Whatever. At least we can still play. We're good. Okay. Let's get the car and go find more guns, brother. Let's look for Actually, let's get some books. Going there. Cuz knowledge is power. Yeah. Comics in heaven. Wow. There's a comic book store in the middle of Gamlestan? Sweet. Sir, the winter is coming. The days will be shorter. The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might be the hardest days of the year. Yep. Let's prepare for winter. We just need to brace ourselves for a few cold months. Let's go to that mall there. Whatever that is. It's got to be a way to easily move stuff from one building to another. trips be cool if we could have the the workers take some sort of a carry function or transportation function it'd be kind of cool to do that reporting ready for action 
Okay, so now I think that we're going to mostly be attacked from here across this bridge and then down here by the boat. I think we should set up defenses here now. We're on the move. Reporting. Maybe build some towers up here move. too. Hmm. But you know, welcome as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for the support. Santa emotes in the chat. Spam those Santa Clauses. Let's go. Santa me. Tee hee hee. Welcome to the stream. Yo, know, Patrick, thanks for the 50 Swedish krona. There's a few comic book stores in Gamlestan, as well as the main branch of SF Bokhandlen, a sci-fi bookstore chain. Oh, really? You know, I may have been into one of those. I can remember going into a comic book store in Sweden, I think. Building work maybe tomorrow. maybe I went there now. That Wow, that just like... It was a very small building, but it was really cool. Very cozy. That just, like, reminded me of that, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Cool. Ready for action. I also saw in Sweden, in Stockholm, uh, what movie was it? I think the very first... Um, uh, oh boy, what movie was that? It's one of the Marvel movies. Search done. Going there. It was one of the Waiting first orders. ones. Roger. Of like the recent thing. I don't remember. It's the one with Groot and the raccoon. <laughs> I've shows shows how much I know about comics. We're on the move. But I think those things are cool. I just I'll watch them. Most, the most recent, uh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, thank you. I was thinking, I had the word galaxy in my mind, and I couldn't remember what the hell that was. Yes. Ready for action. Let's do that was cool, though. I think the most recent comic Let's book movie I'd seen was on a plane to San Diego in, like, 2022 or 1. Receiving. And I think it was Deadpool do 2. Yeah, Guardians yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy was the movie I watched when I was in Stockholm. I also saw Suicide Squad in Amsterdam, no, I mean in Delft. No, Rotterdam. Operator. We're on the move. Ready for action. We're on the move. Waiting orders. And I remember watching some movie in Japan and an aquarium in Okinawa, but it was like, it was all in Japanese. And I was with my Japanese friends, so I just, when I was with my friends, I tried to do my best to understand. And after the movie, it was like, okay, you know nothing of what happened. What do you think happened? I was like, dude, there was a train, and the train went through the stars. I, did they give us drugs? <laughs> I had no idea what the hell happened. Like we went to an aquarium. Why is there a movie about an observatory going on here? Have I been to the Royal Castle yet? Is this it? I haven't made my way there yet. But I've been here in real life. I think that's it, right? I think I have pictures of that. I'll have to find some more pictures of Stockholm and stuff and upload those. That is it. Oh, I remember it. Cool.
Hosa is the answer. Snowballs. Bro, you haven't even been here either? Bro, they shoot a cannon off, dude. Sweet. I've been to the Vasa Museum. I'd go back there again, 100%. I want to go back to Hamburg in Germany and go to Miniature Wonderland. Oh, my God. I haven't been there since, like, 2016. Oh, I got to go back. Take a million pictures. Live stream that experience. Oh, my God. Okay. This is a little suspicious. The zombies are a little too quiet. I'm going to RTB. They've got to be planning an attack. Is there like a last minute 5 a.m. charge? Hmm. <laughs> There's a syndrome name after this place. Oh yeah, well, I, uh, I I saw a movie on Stockholm Syndrome. There's there's actually a really good movie on Stockholm Syndrome. That came out a few years ago. Tells the actual story, but it's like a little more comedic, but Ready for action. <laughs> On my way. it reminds me of, for whatever reason, of the movie Fargo. I don't know why. Yeah, the zombies are definitely hiding. Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, let's check jobs real quick. Oh, we'll need more people for farming. Nope, incoming transmission. Chief, we've if we deconstruct some buildings, we could acquire some wood, metal, and bricks for other construction. We should have more space for other construction as well as a clear line of fire. True. Now we're ready to build an antenna. Once it's operational, we'll be ready to receive distant transmissions again and broadcast some invitations ourselves. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. If we tear down this building, how much material is that going to give us? Chief, we just found a dead animal, but the thing is, it was literally shredded to pieces. It couldn't just be some ordinary Dogs. infected. There are teeth marks on its skin. They look like dog teeth. Okay. Stay alert. How much to deconstruct this one? 7,000 days. Whoa, 900 wood. Oh, boy. No, that's going to take too long, boys. Might rip the, rip the roof out of that building, I think. Uh, that's a good defensive building there. Uh, let's find a small one to deconstruct. Ooh, that'd be a good little cookhouse. Let's adapt that one. Hmm. Never mind. Also, isn't it the winter? Oh, well, it's only October. Not necessarily a brutal winter yet. TB. Oh, we should probably bring the car out there. We're bringing the car next. Oh, look, man. Look at all those buildings to search. That's insanity. Each of them will just take a matter of seconds, but uh, how long is this one going to take? A while. Uh, yeah, they'll climb buildings, but as for walls, I'm not sure about that. They might be fortified at the top, so they might not be able to climb those ones. Like, palisades usually have, like, the pointy, you know, 
spiky top to them, but there might be a way where we put barbed wire on them or something. Like, it may, may just come with it for free. Because, like, if we take a look at some of the walls... Oh. No, they got, like, clear tops to them. I don't know. I mean, I've seen medieval walls that you can defend, which are pretty cool. No, wait. Go back to the Upper. warehouse. I don't remember to do the warehouse only. Alright, let's build some more farms and get food. Twelve's not a lot. We gotta do we gotta do better than that. Pump those rookie numbers up. Can we clear that rubble out of the way? Oh my god. Well, that's all the bricks we'll ever need. We could oh we could build a giant brick wall out of that then. Alright, let's start on that. And then maybe we'll build some towers here, but then also just have people fall back to that building because that's a really good spot to cover three directions, left, right, and center. And we can build a gate here, too. We build a tower here and here. Cover left, right, and center with those towers, too. I know. Let's gather some bricks and see if we can make a brick wall. We might need to unlock that, or is it just basic materials? Now we can build a brick wall. Hell yeah, we can. Gotta gather materials. Oh no, winter's here. We should convert this building to a warehouse. That'd be good. What do I want for Christmas? I want chat to have a good Christmas. That's what I want. Oh, that should fit. Port spotted. Port spotted. Oh, chat, you know, uh, we got we got some me. stuff from the PO box too, chat. Maybe we could do a little uh Maybe we'll do a little P.O. box opening of uh, a gift or two today. And I'll open like a couple today, a couple tomorrow, a couple for the... In each of the streams or something like that. We could do that. I have a P.O. box and chat has sent some really cool stuff. I'll find like one or two things to open up and then do, do each a couple, you know, couple per day. And then if anybody's like, dude, did you get, did you get my thing? I'll be like, Here, here's a couple... Here's a couple of videos. Let me know if I opened what you were looking for. Because if I do it all in one video, I don't know how long until we get enough stuff to do another video. We'll see. Where's a horde? I don't see any hordes. Oh, right there. <laughs> They're planning their route, like if they want to attack or not. They know damn well I'm too well defended. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Post office wouldn't let you ship a bear. Uh huh. Oh, now they want to come over. Yep, they didn't want to attack before. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Reporting. Welcome to die. Nice job. Receiving. Roger. Operator. Go back for ammo. Oh, I can Operator. hear the towers.
Do it, do it, do it. All right. Every hundred likes, I'll open up something on this stream. Starting now. Repair that tower. How much damage do you do? <laughs> Barely. Ready for action. Hold that street corner. Infected incoming. Heads up, there are some infected dogs uh -oh. incoming fast. Those are fast runners. Okay. Shoot them down. Enemy fast movers. That's a lot. Operator. Waiting orders. Roger. Ready for action. Going there. Operator. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Operator. On my way. We're on the move. Oh boy. Operator. On my way. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Operator. Roger. Waiting orders. We need backup. Okay, we're good. Board we're eliminated. good. Whew. Okay, let's grab something and we'll open it up. All right, BRB, I'm going to grab something out of the little. Uh, Little little gift box and let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go open up something from somebody and see what we got. Open up a couple of these in a minute. All right, I, grab, I grabbed a couple. We'll see what we got. Chat was uh, generous to send over some really cool stuff to our P.O. box, both for the holidays and for just in general. Some of you have been wanting to send stuff for a long time. I've just opened up a few to, to make it easier, so we'll see what we got. All right. Build a cookhouse, deconstruct a building, build an antenna. All right, let's build that antenna finally. Get a little behind on that one. Build our antenna there. Okay, let's build that. We're running out of stock. What do you mean stock? We're in Stockholm. We're on the move. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Okay, if we go back Waiting and get the orders. cars, it's going to take too long. On my way. Ready for action. There's like four Roger. stores right there. Okay, let's check some cool stuff. While we wait for these groups to arrive. The work ain't going to wait for us. Let's get to it. So we have. We have one from an independent artist in California. Little uh, nice little box. Well, it's like a, a little, a little little yellow package, and inside we have a bear. No, I'm just kidding. Let's make sure I got it all. All right, a chatty chatter has sent over some something Australian. Apparently, that's well, gonna be hard to see. Sunday sesh. 
Looks like um, mugs? Or I mean coasters from mugs. Oh, that's actually cool. Looks like four of them that all say Sunday Sesh. And they're, they've got like a cork backing and made of uh, some nice plastic uh, print that says uh, Sunday Sesh phrase in Australian short for Sunday Session, the act of getting together on Sunday to so uh, socialize and drink likely large amounts of alcohol. Examples being, I know we've been out Friday and Saturday, but fancy coming down to the pub for a Sunday sesh on my way. <laughs> Those are really nice. Thank you very much. No name other than an independent artist, so thank you very much. That's very cool. And that's definitely something I can use, too. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will definitely put those out in the... Uh, the dining area. Oop. All right, next one's a big one. Big O. Open it up all nicely. It's wrapped in there like crazy. Speaking of wrap, check this out. Wow, it's a big O. Big O piece of wood. It's like a nice, uh, a plaque like. Actually burned in there. I know it's a little fuzzy to see, but it's made of a nice piece of pine, perhaps. Wow! It's got all our members' names on it. There's Tan, legendary Jessica B. Got Mallory up there too. Got Indrid and Branzander. Oh, it's in the chat too. And also, uh, oh, the other way around, Morgan. Morgan's on there too. All blue eyes. And probably likes gold back blue eyes too. From Brandon. Thank you very much, Brandon. And it's got the logo too. Very well done. This is all burned in. Like branded in. And uh, there's the Owen Raptor is painted blue. And also there's a, uh, a little scratch there. Kind of. It's, it's funny. Th this is. Like a yellow natural wood color in the mic. <laughs> OBS thinks that is apparently green. Someone put in some damn good work on that. Not to mention, the uh, corners of this are, are painted and, uh, I don't know what you call that, beveled? There was some, uh, some nice work went into that. Uh-oh, I, I got a splinter. All right, that, I'm going to have to sue now on that one. Now, that's nice. That is very nice. Both rec uh, recognizes the community and, and the channel. So thank you very much. That's very high quality. I'll have to put, um, I don't see a way to hang it, so, but easily I can just tap in a couple of, uh, little hangers in the back of that, so that is, that is very nice. Thank you very much. I'll grab some more in a bit. Every hundred likes, I'll go grab another, uh, little, I uh, will just call them g gifts from chat. It happens to be Christmas, but they're gifts perfect for year-round, so I'll go see some more out in the, out in the storage area. Down the elevator and into the secret bunker. All right, let's go. Thank you again, Chad. That's really cool. Both a hand. It looks like uh, people made those by hand or uh, some sort of well, like they made them themselves, which is yeah, that's par for the course for this community. If you've ever gone to our, uh, if you've ever gone to our uh, Discord before, you'll see people making like nineteen course meals and being like, "Oh, dude, I don't uh, don't have a lot of time, so I made a twenty-six course meal." And it looks like something they would have served first-class passengers on the Titanic. People are like that. Raptor, those six were of us in the Sims multiplayer project. Oh, I, I still want to play that. I want that to, like... Oh, man, we got to play... If, dude, if the new Sims has a multiplayer, we got to play that. I would love to, like, live across... I, I'd love to do fishing and live across the street from somebody like Gardens or something like that and cook food. It would be so cool to play with, like, Tan and Morgan and... Have everybody like take a uh, a role in the community. Actually, that that would almost play more like eco. That'd be awesome. We're on the move. We'll try that mod someday. TBD. An MMO series, yeah. Hey, an MMO Sims would be amazing. You could own a bar. I, I would love that. And then your friends could actually come over to the bar, and you could voice comms with everybody. EA would never allow that to happen, though. They'd be like, "Well, what's in it for us? Happiness? That has to be monetized. We can't allow that to happen." Each and every mouse click has to be monetized. We can't we can't just do good things just to do them and to hurt, uh, h help our reputation and do the right thing. Right things have to be monetized. 
They would never allow that to happen. Never. You know how terrifying that would be for EA if somebody modified The Sims 4 and people were just like, nah, we prefer The Sims 4 now with this MMO thing. Oh, that's terrifying. That's what I suspect Paradox was trying to do with the whole uh, City Skylines 2 situation where they didn't want mods on Steam. They want them to go through them so they can be the ones to approve them so they can stifle progress of mod makers to shine light more on their project. They don't they don't want to be outshined by mod makers. They can't allow that to happen. But also uh, mod makers, you fix it. We are at the point in the Sims though where you may as well actually buy rental property and or a home and just do it yourself rather. Than <laughs> Games are too expensive. You might actually want to go out and buy a, a real home at what 7.2 or 8 just 80%. Just whatever. Whenever you make it your 80%, and that'll just go to the home. Beats playing The Sims. Say, hey, dude, what, what made you buy a house? Well, I couldn't afford The Sims DLCs anymore, so I thought I'd actually buy real property. All makes sense. <laughs> we did it! Let's broadcast an invitation as a test. Or just call the squads back to HQ. Now let's invite some peeps out. Okay. Let's start broadcasting. Push to talk. Wrap it up, folks. All survivors. This is an infection free zone. Operator. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Receiving. Roger. Join us. Reporting. We're on the move. Roger. Hey, is anyone there? We're looking for help. We're tired of this endless um, wandering. We don't have much, but we can do a lot. We're on the boat. How many of you are there? How many of you are there? Several people, six to be precise. How did you survive? How have you managed to survive so far? I uh, don't really know. Maybe a little smarts. Maybe a little luck. Come on over. Please, come you could do like a little interview process to see if somebody's going to be shady because you got to give them your address t so they know where the hell to go. So someone could be like, you know, you? <sighs> I'm looking for uh, someone. Oh my god, they got to go all the way from that edge of the map. Uh, come to us. You have to come on your own and be careful. We're waiting for you. Well, good luck. The last rent pack is totally broken. It's worse than the wedding stories. Really? I was waiting for uh, Lazy Game Reviews, LGR, to do... I love watching those Sims and, like, City Skylines DLC uh, uh, coverage. I love that. Oh, we need tools to build those. Okay. Okay, so we can build more farms, but we need tools. Makes sense. Get up on the line. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Operator, Roger. Okay, we're gonna hold our position. Hey, thanks, Christian, for being here. Thanks for dropping in. The infected are pillaging a building. Where? Wait, what the hell? Wait, how are our towers not? Wait, what? I don't even hear the tower firing off. Receiving. Let's do it. Operator. Actually, they could have come out of the uh, sewers like they mentioned before. Which I think is just a convenient way for the devs to explain away like, Oh, they spawned randomly. Oh, no, they were in the sewers. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll get him. We're good. Well, now we got to put security over here. We're on the move. And here. Roger. Bum, bum, bum.
The game in Zoe looks incredible. Yeah, we need to... Here's what we got to do, guys. Even if some kind of crappy-looking Sims competitors are coming out or they don't look fully fleshed out or a little janky, we should just be like, Oh my god, this looks so amazing. Can't wait to buy 10 copies. Because EA's listening and they'll get scared and then they'll actually be like, Oh, fine. Here's a $95 game with some content in it. Best we can do. And did we say 95 Because that's the, the starter standard pack. You want the premium deluxe gold titanium actually valued customer edition? $9 million. You can just do direct deposit directly to our our company. You don't need to go through Steam. Boycott EA. Boycott EA. No possible way. They'll just buy whoever you go for next. Emperor Electronic Arts. It appears that they're buying a new game called Paralives. Purchase it now. Unlimited money. Yo, Bayou, thank you very much for the eight months as a bear cup. Appreciate the support. All right, chat, next 100 likes, and I'm going to go grab another uh, thing. We'll do another live unboxing for the holidays. So uh, smash like, and I'll, I'll stand up from the chair, and we'll go see what else you guys have sent. That was pretty cool, man. Some cool stuff that chat sent over. Wow, it doesn't even look like nighttime. Look at that. How many more guns do we have? None. Oh, got squads. Oh, okay, right side. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Also, moderators, if you still have keys remaining, um, make sure you give those away today and tomorrow, too. And if you need more, just DM me, and I'll drop some more random keys. I give you guys. Our moderators are giving away keys in our Discord. So for random games, all sorts of things from zombie survival games to base building, um, Ixion, other games like that, too. So you need more keys, Tan? All right. I'll send you guys some more keys uh, today. But, uh, yeah, everybody join the Discord. Uh, part of my... One of, one of my evil plans is to do giveaways. Wow, look at that. The, the river actually froze over. What the hell? Wait, can they actually cross that? Whoa, okay. I did not expect to see that. That looks frozen over and that they could actually cross. Oh, uh, yeah, I hear you, bro. I hear you. This is the infection-free zone. Thank God, I've lost all hope. I need help. I'm sick. Uh, what are your symptoms? What are your symptoms? Uh, well, I have a cough, a fever, chills. I had to catch a cold after the last downpour. I need a doctor. Were you bitten? Have you been bitten or scratched by an infected? No contact with them. Even if I live for years, I'm immune to the mad virus. Wait, what? Do you have red eyes? Have you been smoking the Kush? No, certainly not. My eyes are fine as always. Do you have any medications? Do you need any medications? Yeah, for sure. I don't have any. I'll repay for what I have. What do you have, bro? What's in it for me? I have food. A lot of it. I've been stacking since the beginning. Canned meat, soups, you name it. I've got some ammo and a gun or two. What kind of help do you need? What help do you need? I need coughing. Can you come no, we're going to have to go get him. There's no way. No, I can barely walk. I'll need somebody to come and help me. All right, where are you? Please, state your location. I'm staying in an apartment. Oh, my God. He's at the Stockholm City Hall. Okay. I'll send a squad to you as soon as I can. What time is it? 7 a.m.? Okay. Alright, we'll send a car. It's called, uh, Goober. Alright, can we go over to that building? Oh, they have to walk all that way? Eh. Yeah. Go get that food. 
Oh, the coasters were from me. There was a, they were meant to be other stuff with it. Oh, really? All right. Well, there, I have some other packages too, so there could be more. That was from you, Rod. Thank you. The uh, the coasters. Now, Rod, you know as well as I do that we're not just going to have a Sunday sh a sash here on the channel. It's a, a sash any time, not just Sunday. But I got you. Thank you very much. That was very nice. There could be more stuff. Let's see. Um, where am I going here? Oh, I got to rescue that guy. Going there. Sunday sash sounds like a good time. Australia sounds like a good time. That's on the list too. Next year, chat the big, the big. Uh, it's the year of PTO. We're gonna play Lumberjack Samurai Simulator. I'm gonna take days off and travel the world. Mm-hmm. Gonna go to like Gamescom, maybe. I just want an excuse to travel. Business. Sir, we reached the survivor. It was yeah, I heard the gunshots. He attacked us just as we entered the room. Okay. That's too bad. Thanks for the report. But that guy just tipped us off that uh, he had food and ammo. Building clear. Manor Lords? Yeah, we'll play Manor Lords. I won't travel around Manor Lord's time. Fritz needs me. Wait, where's this squad? Oh, three. You guys, uh, don't go to HQ, go to the warehouse. On my way. Ready for action. We're on the move. Reporting. Well, at least we're getting plenty of cans of food. Hopefully we can find more tools and then we can uh, survive the next year. Oh, nice. We got lots of uh, books. You're good for whatever? All right, Colt, we'll figure it out. I uh, tried to see if Bradford was free for Wolf Wolfpack, but Bradford's doing a lot of yeah, no, yeahs now, where like he'll fire up Wolfpack and be interested in playing it, and then you ask him, all right, you want to play today? Not interested. No more to find. On my way. Bradford is one step away from being like, you know, hey, sweetie, where do you want to go out to eat? Oh, I don't know. Receiving. We're on the move. Here's how here's how you deal with the uh, I don't know situation. By the way, chat. Pro tip for any of you with a significant other who's picky, or the kids, or whomever, and you're always asking for everyone else's input on what to. Uh, this might even work for games too. Maybe you have to find a different way to do it, but there's potential. Here's what you do. If you're gonna, if you want to go out to eat with somebody, or you're gonna take them out, or whatever, or they want to be taken out, and you're like, well, where do you want to go? Oh, I don't know. I don't really care. Here's what you do, right? Receiving. Like, uh, hey, where do you, where do you want to go out to eat tonight? Oh, I don't, I don't really care. It's okay. Where where are we gonna go? And then they throw it back on you with jujitsu. Here's what you do. You're like, well, actually, I wanted to take you somewhere, but it's gonna be a surprise. But you have to guess where it is. Oh, yeah. <gasps> You're taking me to Wendy's? That's right. How did you know? Oh, my God. I love the one with the 1990s sunroom and the salad bar still intact. Oh, my God. There you go. That's how you do it. It doesn't work all the time, but you got to jujitsu. They jujitsu you. You got to jujitsu back. <laughs> That's how you do it. What are we going to watch tonight? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking about watching a YouTuber, but you have to get, guess which one. The most handsome and smartest and best one of them all. <gasps> We're going to watch Raptor tonight on the big screen. That's right. How'd you know? Oh, my God. Like, it works the same way. You just do that with whatever. We're, you know, just, you know, fam grandma maybe is a little picky, the kids, whatever. You just do that, you know. Kids, what do you want for pizza tonight? I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to have we're going to have a pizza. We're going to have a different type of pizza tonight. Can you guess what it is? Hawaiian? Yay! Never mind, kids. We're just gonna have water tonight and bread. Actually, this is quite bad. This is bad. Those guys are faster than us, but we might make it. Hold on. Yeah, it's a good move. It might it might help. It might help to, you know, help people make a decision, you know. Look, it's assertive without being pushy. It's a good way to 
Have everybody pitch in. Going there. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Waiting orders. Going oh, the horde chose to tr take the shortcut through the lake or the river. Idiots. Oh, that's a lot of. Oh my god. They're gone. Oh boy. Receiving. We're actually gonna have to fall back. We don't have enough ammo for this. Roger. Reporting. On my way. Receiving. On my way. Ready for we action. are falling back. Dino Nug actual. We are falling back. We are overrun. We need Nug support. On our AO. Oh my god. Note to self, build that brick wall, baby. We would have run, ran out of ammo if we stayed there, I'm pretty sure. Damn. That was crazy, dude. Okay. We need more survivors, man. Let's keep sending out radio invites. To all survivors, this is Those guys are close. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Join okay, we're going to try to... Uh, in the AM and the PM, I'm going to try to send out notifications and... Tell people, hey, we're here. Come, come to us. See if we can get more people to spawn on the map and come to us. Daniel, thanks for the 25 months as a raptor egg. And thank you again, Bayou, for the uh, eight months as well. Thank you guys for all your member, your new memberships, member milestones, whatever it is. Thanks for supporting the channel. Even if you're just watching. It's cool. Thank you. Broken hot pocket. I say again, broken hot pocket. That was some Kurt Russell advice right there from Big Trouble in Little China. Really? I, I'm sure I, I obviously heard that from somewhere else, but I didn't know it was from Big Trouble in Little China. I'll Big Trouble in Little China is my is like the perfect movie to watch, like right on Thanksgiving to like Christmas. Like it's perfect. I love watching it then. Same with Star Wars, but that's probably because that's when it's on TV the most. I guess they're trying to play popular mu movies but I, I miss watching movies on like um like tbs during the day tnn T tnt good stuff you miss the wendy's salad bar yeah if if only we could all put ourselves into a mental state of being in a 1999 wendy's uh sunroom eating a salad Life is good. Infection cleared. Oh, Lord of the Ring marathon. Oh, really? They do Lord of the Rings? Damn. Do they also play uh, the Hobbit and stuff, or is it just like the original like trilogy from? Oh. Private property, sirs. You know, honestly, playing playing this game makes me want to play one of the other greatest zombie games of all time. I still think Days Gone doesn't get enough love. Days Gone was a good zombie game, but damn, it 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 needs more love and a sequel. And I don't care if it's not going to be made again; it it deserves one or a remake or something. I don't care. Just Days Gone was really cool. I, I, that game was really great. It almost feels a little bit, just a little bit, like playing uh, State of Decay as well, but. That's a hell of a fun game. And same with... Um, I can't wait for a Ghost of Tsushima update. I, or sequel. I really want to play Ghost of Tsushima again. And the DLC. Uh, but I hope they bring it to PC. So that would be my excuse to play through the whole thing again. Ghost of Tsushima is so good. But I'd still play it on a controller. Because it just feels best. You almost bought Days Gone. Days Gone might be a good game to get on the, the Steam sale right now. I mean, that is on Steam. Let me just check real quick. Uh -huh. Days Gone. Days Gone is $12. That's 75% off. $12 for that game. That is way worth 12 bucks. Black Demons, thanks for the 19 months. Merry Christmas to you as well. 
And thank you very much for watching another year of amazing content. Almost two years. Just a couple more to go. Just a couple more. We are out of resources. Yeah, we're out of basic food, yeah. Our tools, basic tools. We'll go get them. All right, 7 a.m. Let's have the squads head out again. All right, let's start securing this right side. Oh, there's some survivors there. They'll be out on the road in a minute. Uh, let's start searching that building. Going there. On my way. Wait, go in the car. Roger. And then take the car to that building. Ready for action. We're on the move. Receiving. Let's do it. Can they not go across that bridge there? On my way. Oh. Uh, hey, is anyone there? We're looking for help. We're tired of the endless whatever. Yeah, come on in. Please, come to us. We'll take you I could interview everybody, but... Where are you? Uh, we're at the... Kutmagartan, will you come for us? Uh, come to us instead. You have to come on your own. And be careful. Yeah, I'm not walking into an ambush. You come to us, where we got all the guns and the towers. What is that? Alex, is that you? Alex, get off the radio. Don't give me that French accent. Somebody there. It is Alex. Who are you? Who's there? It's gotta be somebody messing around. Oh, that, now it's starting to sound faker and faker. Do you need help? Oh, no, that sounds real. Black demons with 10 gifted memberships for the chatty chatters. Get those buses going. Bussin. And Daniel, thank you very much for the two. Merry Christmas to all of you. Black demons with a fi with 50 bucks now? What the hell, you guys? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still on the phone. Hello? Sorry, I'm, Hello? I'm, on, the, I'm, on, I'm on the other line chat. Hold on. Is this a 1-900 number I accidentally dialed? What the hell? Okay. We're going to send the car up there. I think, I think I accidentally dialed out to the wrong number. Reporting. Going there. Uh, where is the thing? There. Wow, Black Demons, thanks again for the 50 bucks, dude. Thanks for the 10 gifted memberships. Thanks for the 19 months as a member. Damn, dude, thank you very much. And guys, those of you who are just gifted memberships, make sure you th say thank you and... Uh, Enjoy those new emotes. Now let's go up here. Oh god, yep, it's zombies. No way, there was actually zombies on the radio? They lured us in. How could I be such a fool? Oh well, well I guess we'll have to go in there with our gun. Oh, never mind. We're gonna leave. We'll come back in a minute when we got ammo. There could actually be some good stuff in there. Oh, and the survivors are coming in too. Perfect. How many nugs can you get for 50 bucks? Like three or four. Wow. What a time to be alive. <laughs> hey, what's up, Osman? Most will know what a 1-900 number is. That's the joke. And chat, you're almost up to the next hundo likes. Thank you very much for all that support. That's crazy. Thank you. Hope you're all enjoying the lovely stream of, you know, shooting zombies and hauling ass down the uh, streets of Gamlistan. There are some sure are. All right, we're back for more. Now, what's interesting is they had a radio, so this could be an over run building of some sort, like a military outpost or something? What is the significance of this? Or was it just a prank call? <laughs> Zombies are prank calling me now. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yeah. Well, you're dumb! Okay, that's not how that goes. Got him, these nuts. 
Oh, there was an AK in there. Oh, baby. This is going to be our assault team now. Ooh, they had lots of stuff. That must have been a former uh, survivor outpost. They got bit. And it, it, wow. On my way. Oh, there's lots of books and stuff around here. We're going to need that. What can we research next while we wait? Let's do improving farming. Let's research that. It is uh, January, though, so we're not farming much, but yeah. Need to catch up on Last Train Home. Did we finish the game? Not yet, but we're getting closer. We'll be playing more of that in the next couple of days. What are some good games to look out for for the Steam sale? You know, honestly, what I was going to do is... Well, first of all, I think Dave the Diver and Dredge are outstanding, and you should look into getting those games, sale or not. Um, and I think a lot of the games you may have seen this year on the channel, if, if they piqued your interest and you were like, oh, that looks cool, just see if it's on sale and worst case scenario, just add it to your wish list. But I've got to say, I think now is an excellent time to go back for games that you may have missed in, over the last couple of years and go back and play those or get those for the first time. So we're talking about like Elden Ring, Assassin's Creed, like Black Flag, um, you know, Red Dead Redemption to those kinds of things. Anything that's come out over the last couple of years that you didn't have a chance to play, just because it's old doesn't mean like, you know, Starfield and Baldur's Gate and all that stuff came out and you might be interested in playing those, but, you know, Baldur's Gate will be good for a million years and so will those other games. So if you're looking for new, go new. But I think there's a tremendous amount of classics that we've all kind of forgotten about we get so caught up in you know new 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 but um old is still gold and those games got better because of patches and such over the years too so can't go wrong with the old classic city skylines as well Reporting. let's do it oh this team On has two way. assault rifles On let's go oh great operator right, let's go get more books What time is it? 3.13? It's not really a lot of time to go on a raid too far. And yeah, we'll go over here. Roger. You were looking forward to Starfield, but it was an average game? Yeah, and that's okay. Like, I enjoyed it, too. Um, and I'd like to go back and play it again someday, but... Um, it was good, but nothing like... It's not Skyrim, you know? But I'm happy I played it. I'm happy it came out and was, you know, halfway decent. Like it wasn't the day before, <laughs> or Gollum, so that's good. Although, I think we can all say that Gollum was uh, a good game in comparison to like the day before. Like if it was if it was Gollum versus the day before, Gollum would be day the uh, game of the year. No, I'm not sure when this one will release, but maybe quarter two of next year. And if it does, it it probably will be early access. There's still a lot more they could do here. Uh, but their system is solid, like for being able to pick anywhere in the in the world map and just being able to type in like coordinates or a city and just seeing how it generates is pretty damn cool. Are the servers up for the day before? I heard they're ending sometime in January, but my Steam code got like removed. <laughs> like I had access to the day before and they pulled it, so I think. What they're doing is they're just refunding people who haven't even requested a refund in waves. I didn't even request a refund because the game was no uh, given to me for free Reporting. from the devs or whatever. We're on the move. Gollum just looks boring. I mean, I played it. Reporting. We could go back and finish it, but uh, I should have. I should have. You know what? Honestly, we're going to do that in the future, chat. We should... There's something fun about like playing... Not great games, and then just being like, oh my god. Just laughing at how things operate. Like, I've, I did some things in Gollum, like in the uh, in that game's parkour, that just like, how did this even happen? Oh my god. Hmm. Alareza, thank you very much for the third super chat on the channel of 20 bucks. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Raptor. Same to you, dude. Happy everything to everybody, dude. I hope you all have a good New Year's, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or just hanging out with family or whatever. I hope you, more importantly, I hope you have some good time off to just relax and eat some good food and 
enjoy your accomplishments this year and look back at good things that happened to you and more importantly good things you did and look forward to good things in the next year many things many things will get worse but there is so much to look forward to that could change and get better and things you should be proud of. We're on the move. Waiting orders. Despite struggles and hardships, that is grit, and that should make you uh on my way. That should make you stronger for other people around you. Operator. On my way. Waiting orders. Roger. Let nothing stop you, chat. Things can slow you down, but don't let anything stop you. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Alright, we're we'll leaving base at 10 p.m. I'm sure this is a smart idea. There are some yep, around here. that was a bad idea. Reporting. But... What the hell's that car doing? There we go. Ready for action. Let's keep these guys together in the same... Same vehicle. I feel like we should build another tower here. Oh, we got so many people at the camp now. Let's keep scavenging. I'm going to build two more towers. We should try to make the towers cover each other for defense. So that one... Maybe we'll build one here to cover. build one here. Cover that left flank a little bit better. These three should be able to cover each other. That one almost can cover. But that one's kind of more covering the HQ, so that's okay. We'll do the same on the right side, too. Yo, Renz, thank you very much for the Raptor Hatchling membership. In the Star Wars voice, you may be happy when ready. Yeah, true. And you don't have to be happy. You can you can be satisfied with things. I think I mentioned that before with your careers and such, too. Like, you can be happy with the job, but don't be satisfied with it. Or the other way around, however you want to look at things. Like, you can be satisfied with your work, but don't be happy, or be happy and don't be satisfied. Regardless, always ask for more. They ask you for more, so you do the same. Another one incoming. Could the building in the map that's too wide be very tall? That's good for spotting the zombies. This one? A lot of good buildings around here, but it's very cramped too. We're on the move. Reporting. We're on the move. Clear. Receiving. Roger. There's nothing left. Waiting orders. Or it's getting a little close. Oh, you're not going to want to do that. Receiving. On my way. Roger. On my way. Inspected incoming. Waiting orders. Roger. Danger close. Get wrecked. Reporting. On my way. Glad we have multiple squads. Clear. We can get up to six squads, too. We do have two more guns, but I'm going to leave those for the towers now. Uh, you stay put till the daytime. No, 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 stay put. We're going to secure the city block. There's lots of food up here. That's awesome. 400 likes? Yep. We'll go see if we can get something else then.
Search done. Operator. What time is it now? Five? Okay. Now we get RTB. Reporting. On my way. Good job, Operator. everybody. Oh, there's tools. Let's get that so we can get uh, farming. We're on the move. More farms. Some games to check out during the sale. Baldur's Gate 3, Age of Darkness, Endless Dungeon, Riftbreaker, Satisfactory, Ixion, Lethal Company, Medieval Dynasty, Subnautica, and Total Conflict. Wow. Those are some good suggestions. Let's do it. Let's do it. On my way. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to have to go into my little bag of tricks again and see if we can find another cool thing to unbox. Oh, we're bringing back basic tools. We're good. Ready for Going there. Oh, they're ready to go. Going there. Car is empty. Let's go. Lots of food around here. Let's Going go there. Operator. Ready for action. We got two guns. We're about to get more. All right, cool. Yeah, Humanity Z is a good one, too. Lethal Company, yeah. All right, I'm going to grab some more. Let's see what we got. Okay, this one looks interesting, very interesting. This looks to be a bag, Santa sack, although it's uh, not the big old red one, but it's uh, festive, got some confetti on it, don't know what this could be, um, oh there's a tag. Uh, Oh. oh, it's from Gallon. Merry Christmas and thank you for all you do from Gallon. Ho oh, ho. Thank you, dude. And let's see here. Oh, it's got a, um, a letter with it, too. Uh, keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Oh, really? That's neat. Okay. It's, it's a bear. It's going to be killed live on camera. Well, let's see here. It's tied up all nice. What do we have here? <laughs> what the hell is this? No way. Oh, this is going to be so perfect for next month. No way. Brother. No way. Hold on. I can see what it is, but let me get it out of this. No way. It's a bag within a bag. Hold on. This is awesome. Gallon, are you here? This is amazing. Chat, check this out. Can you guys guess what it is? This is incredible. Very high quality. Although... Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. This... Oh boy. Brother? <laughs> wow, we're rooting and tooting, brother. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Well, yep, that, that, that's a lost cause with the headphones, but, uh, ma'am, <laughs> that's amazing, dude. Oh, my God, dude, this is perfect for Red Dead. This is perfect, dude, and it fits perfectly. It's perfect. And it's like got the American, fl look at that. Brother's got America all over it, brother. Stars and stripes. And look at that. It's got like a little, um, oh, it's the other way around, like a little American Eagle, like, badge on it. That's cool as hell. Thank you very much. Props are cool. I hope I can um, I hope I can wear this and use the headphones at the same time. But that is 
I actually look I actually look nice in this hat. Wow, I am very happy with my hat. And and then I get my coasters too from Rod so I can have some whiskey, brother. It all comes together. It's all perfect. Excellent. And then of course we can use our uh, our little uh, and then of course the, uh, the the little wooden uh, thing will be hanging in the background, little the plaque. That's the word I'm looking for. Rootin' and tootin'. That's right. That's awesome. Really cool. You guys, everything, ch chat, did you all work together on this? Now I'm suspicious. Now I'm suspicious. That's awesome. Barb's to be with the five bomb. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate the five gifted memberships for chat. That is amazing. That's really cool. Now I'm going to have to see. Can I, can I like, th there's no way. There's no way I'll be able to, uh, no. Damn. Uh, you know, it, yeah. <laughs> How many bears so far? This is our seventh bear. There's got to be a bear in here somewhere. Made with 100% real, real bear hide. Yep, I knew it. It's actually 100% paper. The whole thing was made out of paper? No way. Anyway, that that is that is cool. That That is really cool. Earphones? Yeah. I'll have to uh, see if I can pop in some earphones, but... Um, those get uncomfortable for me, but regardless, this is cool as hell. So maybe we'll uh, we'll do something. Maybe we can. Um, I'll give you all a yeehaw every like five new members or something like that. I don't know. We got to find a way to incorporate some of this cool stuff. But uh, you know, a few more hats, and I'll be every uh, every member of the village people. Like I got the the police officer hat. What what the hell else was the village people? Uh, there was the police officer the bike i don't remember biker i have no idea you found your first bear and once human congratulations colt all right there's many more gifts from chat out in the uh, in the vault so uh, every hundred likes i'll crack open another one of those bad boys you guys have sent some really cool stuff there's some other big boxes out there maybe we'll get a we'll get a big one next oh yeah hard hat oh yeah oh that that would work because we do a lot of building games oh incoming transmission Uh, hello? This is Infection Free Zone Chief Operator. We copy you. Go ahead. And we do not hold them off much longer. This is the moment... Operator, we're going there. Uh... We're losing you. Receive it. We we're on the boat. This is going to happen. Now we're going there. ready more than ever to... Reporting. Switch channels. I don't know what's going on. Oh, more survivors. Sir, the signal is very weak, but it must be originating from some nearby location. Mm -hmm. If we search the nearby areas by checking the signal's strength, we might locate its origin. Uh, okay, so we got to triangulate the location. Okay. Uh, we got to go to all three of those locations and find out where that radio is for. We got to go to f that's not triangulate. Okay, maybe we have one of few optional. All right, we got to get in the whip and go to those locations. What time is it? We'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. Building clear. Ready for action. Let's Grab do food it. and tools. Let's go, brother. Uh, this game comes out sometime next year, and there's a prologue sometimes randomly on Steam. Or is there a prologue now for this game, chat? I can't remember if it's like up or down or ended or new. Can't remember. Operator, on my way. Mm -hmm. However, chat, if you get me hats, you don't get to see the hair. I know difficult choices have to be made. So that's life. Head next door. Penelope Cockbirkin? The hell? B 
burn, 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 burn. So do I have to make the unboxing edit now? You can if you'd like to. I don't know if that'll be a good short, but I mean, at this rate, chat's... Uh, at the next 100 likes, if everybody watching hits the like button right now, I'll immediately go and grab the next package. Uh, I mean, we'll get to these eventually. But I'm sure chat would never miss the opportunity to do that, would they? No, of course not. I wonder if we can find another car. Oh, look at all that fuge. You know, uh, Tan, I was thinking about that second channel. We could actually just make it a shorts channel, too, so you can have... Uh, it'll just be nothing but shorts, and you can just have complete control over that, too. And we, we, can, we can try two different channels on YouTube and see if there's even more exposure. I see some Twitch streamers doing, like... They have their YouTube channel where they'll put, you know, VODs of their stream videos, which is, like, what this channel is after it's over. But we could do shorts there too on a separate channel. I mean, what's it gonna do? Only only get more more views and more people to know how cool our community is. So we could actually start using that other channel now that we've kinda got things figured out here. Operator. And you could upload the same shorts, re upload shorts, mix things up. You don't like YouTube shorts? Yeah, I don't like them either, honestly, but they are a good way to one, capture funny moments in our community and share them very quickly. And two, for the people who do like YouTube shorts, it's uh, part of our evil plan to lure them into then starting to watch the videos and the live streams. If someone's like, oh man, that guy was funny, I'm going to subscribe. And we get just one person to subscribe and start watching the streams? Good. I guess I could ask the question, like, is anybody here actually uh, subscribed because of watching the shorts? I think the answer is no, but getting a few more people would be good. Oh, the cookie jar, that's what that means. I've actually been to the Bishop's Arm. It's a nice pub. Oh, really? Well, there's other pa places here. Slingabulton. Uh, Panstora Nigatin. Something. Oh, the, oh, is that like something garden? Rita Design. Frovstora Nigatin. Oh, that must be. The Secret Garden. Pluto, Sedora. Oh, that's uh, that, that street, I think. Neat. Yeah, it all starts... Yeah, the e our evil plan starts with one small video. You watch it, and then you're like, wow, that was cool. Maybe I'll watch more. Good. Good. All right, so tomorrow morning, we're going to go out and do with the triangulation stuff. Where's the other squad? Oh, they're in the car. Like, where'd they go? Well, I forgot to send out another invite. To all survivors, this is an infection-free zone. There's been so much going on in this game, though. Like, we're getting radio messages all the time. Sending out invites. Find the zone from the broadcast and build a cookhouse. I still haven't even made a cookhouse yet. We've cleaned up a lot of that rebel, though. The re rebel. Rubble. Yeah, it's on their website. You, I think you can back their Kickstarter to get access to it, I think. I think we need more housing, really. We're going to get a lot of people. 11 out of 27 and another 55 out of 55. If we turn this into a house... That'll have housing for 168. I think that's all the housing we would ever need. I'm alright with that. Hey, what's up, Alex? Welcome, dude. And let's do a little... Just a little cookhouse here. We'll turn this into a Wendy's. I'm sure this isn't 
anything of any sort of cultural importance. So let's make it where maybe 10 people could work there. Actually, let's make it for the inventory space to reach 50. That's a lot of food we can put in there. And it'll be next to the farms anyway. Alright, so we're turning the Svea Hovrat to uh, a, a barn, essentially. The name Slinger Bolton is referring to a winding road, probably a joke about the way you walk after <laughs> eating and drinking at the restaurant. Ah. Clever. Okay, let's on pause and keep trucking. And then we gotta go to four of those locations. Fun. Now, Colt, you got your lemon plate two days ago. Congratulations. Such a big day for you. This is the High Court of Justice, and now we can get that out of the way. The only people you'll find there now is just us. That's that's who we're who's going to be there, just our people. Ready for action. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Oh, no, you don't. Hold on. Start the morning out right with some target practice. Is anyone there? We're looking for help. Yep, come on over. Please, come to us. We'll take you. Where are you? Red Gambla. Lund got, Lund gotten. Now you got to come to us. You have to come on your own and be careful. We're waiting for you. Roger. Report. <laughs> Roger. This is over. And who are you, sir? Who are you? Do you realize orders. you're all gonna die? Let's do it. Are you okay? Okay. Ready for action. No one's okay. The end We're is going there. Here. Right there. Right Nothing comes before. We're running out of stock. We're going there. Calm down, sir. This is the end time. Don't you see? You're wrong. There's still hope. Uh There's no other choice. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. On my die. way. We're all gonna die. Okay, sir. Those morning radio show hosts are crazy. Guys pulling a prank. one oh we researched uh, farming good I want another car oh hell yeah brother that's way over here wow all right signal is weaker over here we'll have to search elsewhere damn we're gonna have to send a squad like right now ready for action wow it's gonna be a long way to go Wait, let's do this. I got an idea. Ready for action. 
We'll have this car go halfway. We'll have these people walk here. What? They gotta walk there? They can't walk across the damn road? Oh, it's a highway. It, it would be completely unsafe for us to walk across this highway. <laughs> During a zombie apocalypse. Wait, we could cross here, though? Oh, come on. All right, we'll meet them there and then have them go bring the car the, the rest of the way home. Going there. All right, go get that other car. Roger, clear. Now we have two cars. That's awesome. We'll go pick up that car. What do they want me to build? Build a cookhouse. I am. We're good. And more people are on their way. Oh yeah, we're building this too. We got a few more, few more places for people to live. more good stuff over here. Where's a Max? I want to go get Max Crispy Fries. It's a good Swedish fast food place. Are people have to like swim across? What the hell? These people can just walk across the... Pathing. Do you have to find gas repair, etc.? Yes, you do. We can find fuel and refuel the cars. As for how to do repairs, I'm not sure how that's done. Reporting. Hell yeah, we got another car. Well, let's see if we can hit up these other triangulation points. So there's one over here. On my way. And then we'll get the other squad in their car. Watch for bandits. Ready for action. Work done. Operator, do that. Let's do it. Signal is weaker over here. We'll have to search elsewhere. Fair enough. Acknowledge. Reporting. We're on the move. Let's do it. Reporting. We're on the move. Signal is weaker over here. We'll have to search elsewhere. Oh, that's strange. So we know it's there then. Going there. So wherever that radio signal is coming from, it was here at the misbehave. <laughs> Another one incoming. Good pun. Operator. Let's do it. Okay, let's send out a advertisement. To all survivors, this is an infection free zone. Provide food and shelter, safety and security. Join us. We need more resources. Reporting. Going there. We need more wood. Sir, the signal is slightly stronger over here. If we search the nearby buildings, we might find the source of the transmission. Ooh, okay. Understood. Uh -oh. Watch yourself. On my way. Waiting orders. Let's take shelter. Run them over. They're coming. Okay, that'll be fine. And then, um, gotta build that cookhouse still in that other building. We gotta cut down more trees then. We're missing 
resources. We're gonna have to demolish some buildings too. We've got them. I think we're gonna start to that's three good buildings there. We'll demolish this one. That'll take a while. Doing a naval landing. Ready for action. Well, this group never left the car. Infected incoming. On my way. Sir, we found where the transmission Ooh. came from. This must have been so one of the done. safe zones. It seems it fell years ago, but the equipment somehow survived and kept transmitting. It's powered by solar panels that were occasionally catching some light. Maybe we could try to use solar energy too. Okay. All right. <gasps> brother, we found a truck too? Oh my god, this is the day that keeps on giving, brother. Wow. Port spotted. We found solar panels as well, that's cool. Going there. That'll be useful. And we found a truck, brother. Oh my god, I'm, cry I'm not crying. I'm crying. In the middle of Sweden, brother. I think one time, actually, coming from Denmark to Sweden on the road, I found I saw like a big old, like Dodge pickup, and I was like, "My God, brother, one one American living here, true patriot." Delivering the word of the pickup truck, <laughs> the ch the church of pickup. There are some infected around here. Yeah, we're in Stockholm, yep. Gamlestan. And areas around it. There are some infected around here. Crying and shaking, yep. I think this would be Stockholm City Hall, maybe? I thought that was closer to the water. But that looks like it. Although I thought the building was longer, but it could be longer. The game may have just gotten it a little wrong. It's close. It's close. That's why this is like the biggest zombie game ever, because you can build anywhere in the world. Just pick random, pick a random town that you were in once three weeks ago. Boom. Probably looks just like it. Ready for action. Let's do it. Receive it. Going there. Okay, we need to keep finding more tools. Well, we got 15 grain though, so as soon as that cookhouse is ready, we're good. And more people coming to the camp means we can build stuff faster, which is good. Yeah, it's like Google Maps, but it's also kind of close. Plus, they take into account, like, real-life locations of hospitals and, like, military barracks or, like, police headquarters or wh whatever, schools for things like uh, books and... and pretty cool. Is anyone there? We're looking for help. All right, come on in. Please, come to us. We'll take you in. Where are you? You have to come on your own. And yeah, we did the Paris map too, yep. Oh, that's a church steeple? Oh, a city hall somewhere else? Okay. Yeah, I thought I thought it it looked similar, but I knew it wasn't quite right. Okay, let's go to I guess there's no other markers now, so let's go to wherever it's most important, probably guns, brother. Any more guns? Look at all the shops and stores, man. Wow. Yeah, let's hit up the palace. They gotta have a gift shop or something. Operator. We're on the move. Okay, more survivors are coming in, good. We're on the move. 
All right. Oh, looks like we're still building fields. We need more resources. Okay, we can't really do any more construction without materials, so let's go get material. Seems like when they've been swimming across, they keep trying to come here now, so I think we're okay defending that left side. What we can eventually do is, eh, I was going to say we could destroy these towers, but honestly we should probably keep a defensive line all the way across. Plus we're destroying a couple buildings too. Hello, hello. Rise and shine. Hello! Hi Bradford, how are you? This is Operator of Infection Free Zone. State your business. Finally. I always beginning to wonder where you've gone. It's such a nice day outside. Got a good night's sleep. I think I'll go to that house by the end of the road today. It's time. House at the end of the road? Who are you? Building. I'm sorry. Who I'm sorry, bud. Who are you? Uh -huh. Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> Operator, you let's do it. Had me. You know, I really appreciate our little talks. We're on the move. What talks? And I, but we talked no yesterday, more to find. and the day before, I know your Roger. voice, stop kidding around, Gary. Gary? I'm really sorry, sir, but I'm Sorry, not but Gary. I'm not Gary. No. But I, then who, Going who, there. who are you? I'm a YouTuber, bro. Hey, why don't you come on over? We have a zone set up here. I'm the chief comms operator. It's safe here. You should join us. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I haven't been out of the house in months. What's your address, bro? Where are you? What's the address? <laughs> we're sending a squad to your location. You can trust us, sir. Waiting we'll help. <laughs> and we're bringing a truck. Hold on, I'm bringing the truck. Oh my god. This must have been the King of Sweden's truck, but then he, he broke down. Oh my god, there's another there's cars everywhere! Look at that, there's two more cars. Oh my god. Where does this guy live? Where is this guy? There he is. Oh my god, dude. There's so many cars. Everybody gets a car. It's the Let's Oprah. It. Oprah City. I'm sending that pickup. Look at how much capacity the pickup has. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Operator. Going there. Waiting order. Right, bring, bring, oh the guns and ammo. Hell yeah, bring that back. Oh my god. Energetic Wolf, you're going to another dinner? Nice, bro. That's good. Roger. Lots of invites. That's good. Let's do it. We're on the move. Going there. Let's do it. What time is on it? Two o'clock? Oh, I don't know if we can get there before it's too late. Waiting orders. Roger. Going there. Receiving. Hmm. We can get to one, maybe. Let's do it. This is the Parliament Building. All right, here's where the crazy guy is. Hey, eh, he can sit in the back. Get a bit concerned. Have him come on in. Take him. Every life matters. He's like a kooky, crazy inventor. He's going to come up with something We're crazy that we can use. That's what I'm predicting. Let's do it. He's going to have to walk, though. Bye. Welcome to our community. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> we care for our own here. But you have to first uh, complete the onboarding process and. We'll. we'll We'll see you. Good luck. Oh man, we're getting all these vehicles now, brother. 
This is going to look like every base that we built in Zomboid and Humanity Z and everything else. Except on like a national scale. We're going to take every pickup truck, car, and everything else. It's going to be awesome. Hell yeah, brother. Ready for the ride. Ready for the ride? Port oh, hold on. Spotted. Operator. Every Volvo station wagon in Sweden must be recruited for this operation. Going there. Seriously, whenever we play like, uh, uh, what is it, Generation Zero? It's like three billion pickup trucks in or, or in America, and three billion station wagons are in like in Sweden. That like that's the car. That's that's the choice. Now right, let's defend the zone. Roger. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Operator, going there. We're gonna dismantle this building too. That's gonna take three hundred thousand years. How many materials are in there? Thousand bricks, eight hundred metal, and nine hundred wood. Wow, we can get everything we ever need from there. Wow. Then we'll just build some gates. Build some big o walls. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So we need to go get that car. There's a train station up there. Log em. Okay, so what do we need to build a cookhouse? I guess, oh, we could divvy up how many people work at each construction site. Oh. Look at, look at that, man. Fleet of vehicles right there. Looks like a pileup. Alright, more survivors there. Let's do invite. All survivors, this is an infection-free zone. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Join us. Yes, join us. Okay. Well, we have ten research to do. Some of these we can't research, but I think we can do... Manufacture of synthetic fuels. Oh, we could start learning how to make um, our own ammo. A tool factory, we should do that first. That's going to be way more valuable. Because from that, then we can make a bunch of farms, and then we can kind of just live here. Happily ever after. Okay, we'll hold. Holding, we're holding. And those people are coming in. Wasn't there a group up here? Oh, they must have arrived. Oh yeah, four out of 77. And we need more materials so we're cutting down trees but also we're demolishing buildings which is a pretty clever way to also get more materials for the player to be able to build in big urban settings without having to worry about too much on the uh... all right 
Let's see. The work ain't gonna wait for us. Let's get to it. Yeah, let's get working, ma'am. Brick by brick, talk by tick. And we'll do that there. Okay, cool. Turret upgrade, yeah. Dude, we've done an ins insane amount of good work here. And, like, we actually get to save it so we can play this damn game some more, which is great. Operator. Let's send a group up to go get that car. On my way. And we better save just in case. Manually. Alright, cool. Chat, we are 100% coming on back for more of Infection-Free Zone here in Stockholm, but we're also going to continue our series in Italy as well. So if you would like to see more of this game, make sure you spam the hell out of that like button and come on back for a little bit, in a little bit, for our next Big O stream. We're going to try to do some stuff with the uh, Goof Troop tonight, so um, I got more things to unbox as well from you guys for the holidays via the P.O. Box, so exclamation point P.O. Box in the chat. If you've ever liked to want to send me something, if you got like a business or if you're... I don't know, a, a photographer, I, whatever. I, any cool thing you want to send me, send it on over, and I'd love to open it up in front of everybody here on stream. So thank you very much for smashing the like button. Thank you very much for subscribing. Don't forget to do that, and we'll come on back for more Infection-Free Zone in another stream in just a little bit. But if I don't see you tomorrow because of Christmas or the rest of the year because, you know, holidays, New Year's, and whatnot, hope you've all had a fantastic year, and I hope next year is even better for you. So thank you very much for all the gift bombs, super chats, memberships, uh, subscriptions, the comments, hanging out in the chat and just being awesome for the whole year. It's been an amazing year. So thank you very much. We'll be back in just a little bit for our next Big O stream. So let's take a little break and we'll come on back and uh, we'll start our next stream with a little unboxing as well. So thank you very much everybody for watching and we'll definitely come back for more Infection Free Zone. Hope to see you here soon for more and our next stream coming up in just a bit. See you guys.